Um, my name is Denise Stevens. I'm founder of Enable by Design, which is a community of people who are passionate about design for all. We believe that de good design can help to make day-to-day -day tasks that little bit easier, um, and in life, kind of generally make it a bit easier as well. Um, so, I have relapsing remitting MS. Um, I was diagnosed in 2003. Um, at that time, I was working as a forensic toxicologist. Um, I'd done a chemistry degree at the University of Manchester, studied there for three years, um, got a first class degree, got into forensic toxicology um, and then was working for two years and I'd just got a, a job to train up as a court reporting officer. Um, and so with, but sadly within six months of being diagnosed with MS my health went downhill very quickly um, to the point where um, I'd had a series of disabling relapses um, and it got to the point where I couldn't walk, couldn't use my hands and couldn't see out of my right eye. Um, so sadly I had to give up the forensic toxicology job um, and then during that time um, I just moved to a new flat as well <laughs> um, and I was living with a friend um, who was starting to work for a law firm so she was working really long hours so basically I was living on my own really um, so yeah I was really struggling doing things and just keeping my independence um, I think at my worst point it sounds a bit sad but I remember sitting on the floor being almost in tears because um, I needed to open a jar of pasta sauce, um, but I couldn't use my hands properly, and my friend was at work, um, and it was like the only thing I had in, in to sort of eat, <laughs> and I couldn't open it, so I basically couldn't eat. <laughs> um, so as time went by, um, I was speaking to my GP and MS nurses, and I thought it would be good for me to see the occupational therapist. So an occupational therapist came out to see me, um, and they sort of assessed me and gave me a, a load of kind of equipment to help me keep my independence, help me sort of carry on with my day-to-day -day life as best as possible and, and kind of in a safe way because I was having a lot of accidents, kind of falling. Um, I had a bath that had a shower that went into the bath um, a number of times I'd fallen getting in and out of the bath, standing up in the in the bath. Um, so I was given a shower, um, sorry, a bath board which goes over the bath that you sit on so that you can get in and out of the bath more safely. Um, I'd been burning myself numerous times because uh, using a kettle, um, like lifting sort of un lifting pans and things um, that were hot when my hands were quite, quite numb but also had tremor, um, quite wobbly. Um, so I was given kind of kit, uh, tools and things in the kitchen as well to sort of help with helping improve grip. And at the time I couldn't even hold a knife and fork properly, so I had um, a knife and fork with foam padded handles that help improve grip. And I thought all of this stuff was pretty amazing. It helped me to keep my independence, and that was so important to me. But as time went by, I was surrounded by all these kind of plastic goods that were kind of lots of white and grey, white, clean plastic. Um, and it really started to make my home look like a hospital. Um, and I think because I, at that time I'd spent a lot of time in hospital, I really wanted to get away from that. And, and it, it just felt like you'd done everything in life to get to the point where you live in a nice home, you decorate it how you want to decorate it, and then suddenly you've got all this kind of clinical looking stuff that doesn't feel like home anymore. Mm -hmm. 